Hello everyone and welcome back, this is Sleepless Ninja and today we're going to take a look at Quick Office Pro HD on the Zoom. So Quick Office Pro HD is a uh, Zoom version of the Quick Office Suite that offers the ability to view Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and PDFs as well as edit Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. So uh, it has a couple of uh, neat features. Um, first, of course, there's the standard being able to view your local file system. Um, and then also, you're able to uh, add different types of clouds. So you can uh, look for, um, pull from your Google Docs, Dropbox, Box, Huddle, SugarSync, or MobileMe. And um, so it's very cool. I have my Dropbox and my Google Docs synced up with this and um, let's go take a look at our the Dropbox I I have a, a range of documents so first we'll look at the viewing and then we'll uh, go into the editing so let's uh, first take an example of the uh, PowerPoint so it's downloading it and here we go so you can see it it loads up the slide um, these are this is just a, a slide that I downloaded online um, And you're able to pan down to look at each of the slides. And it does a pretty decent job. Sometimes if you didn't use a text that's supported by um, Quick Office, it replaces it with its own. Um, and sometimes the font doesn't stand right. What, when it, what really becomes a problem is when you get into pictures. Uh, as you can see, you can see the pictures just uh, don't always align correctly and this one isn't a picture filled um, PowerPoint um, but it, it's definitely when you have some very um, complex um, styles going on in your PowerPoint with pictures and text organized in certain ways it's going to be off and so even for taking your document and presenting it um, through the PowerPoint viewer um, you're going to be presenting and, the, and, your, and your presentation is going to look off. So that's a little uh, disappointing. But um, overall, it, it, I mean, for what it is, it, it does an okay job. And if you're making simple PowerPoint presentations or if you're doing the presentations and making them on here, um, you'll be able to uh, deliver them no problem. So we'll take a look at Excel. Excel does a, a, I mean, a very good job. Of course, with a spreadsheet, you really don't need to um, have it that pre presentable as far as the images and alignment and font. Um, but as far as you know, holding the colors and um, calculations and everything. So you can see, I click on here. My total is a combination of the quantity times the unit cost. It kept in the HTML links that were HTML links. And I'd have a summation here. Excuse me. So everything like that hold, holds true. And so the Excel does actually a fairly fairly good job. And it's very, very nice to view and, uh, and pretty decent to work in. And you can also see that it has the abilities to mimic through sheets and add sheets and remove sheets and so forth. So it, it's it's a very, very, f I mean, it, it, it's a fairly nice portion of the Quick Office. And you can see, I, I you know, I, I, I changed a couple of things. So you can actually save and then save it back to the cloud or save it locally. So that's, uh, it's pretty neat. And uh, we can look at another PowerPoint. This is actually an older PowerPoint that doesn't use some of the newer um, as as of 2007 and 2008, um, the the PPTX it doesn't use all of that XML f formatting. So you can see that the formatting here, for the most part, stays the same. So if you're going and using the older offices, you'll find that this type of transition, or even the open open offices, you, you'll find that the formatting is a little bit better than using Word. 2007 and on. Um, and then we can look at a PDF. 
Um, PDFs open pretty decent. Um, you can't unfortunately highlight or, or edit, but it does a pretty solid job. You can zoom in and zoom out and you no, know, it's it's a decent reader. It's a shame that you can't do any highlighting or take notes with it. And we'll take a click at this take a quick look at this Word document. It's rather large. And again with the Word it's like the PowerPoint. The with the XML formatting it doesn't do the best job in the world, but it does a it does a pretty decent job and in, in present pr presenting and you know, as far as typing things up and then maybe styling it on your computer after that, that that would be that would be pretty good. You can see it renders the pictures. You can zoom out. You can zoom in. So overall, as a package for for the viewing, we just went over the viewing right now. Um, it it, it does an okay job. Some of the XML forwarding, uh, um, formatting is just off and. Uh, we won't probably see something better for 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 a while until maybe hopefully um, a better a better package is uh, released. But I think even this is something that you know if you were to transition from PowerPoint or Office, Microsoft PowerPoint or Office to Open Office, I think th this is these are similar trends that occur um, with the XML formatting. It's so I don't have enough time to fit the uh, editing portion into uh, this video just to to YouTube's 15-minute uh, maximum upload um, on my account. So um, I'm going to put that in a second video, but thank you everyone for watching. If you like this video, please like, and uh, please subscribe to my ch channel for uh, daily updates, and uh, the uh, following video will be up soon. Thank you.